didn't expect to see you out here, sunshine. What's with the jacket? You cold or something? Eh, it's not that cold. 3 a.m. March weather is perfect. Not freezing, not hot and sticky. Just the perfect amount of chilliness. So, what brings you out to my cheerful little nest tonight, dork? You should be fast asleep in your cozy little bed so that you can wake up bright and early in the morning. Isn't that your usual schedule? I mean, you're one of those dreaded day walkers, are you not? <laughs> hmm. Couldn't sleep, huh? So you hiked all the way up here at 3 a.m. because of insomnia. I mean, don't get me wrong. You always had an open invitation to join the night shift with me, and I appreciate the company. But this is incredibly out of character for you. Very off script. I like it, but what changed? Fine. Keep your secrets. Hmm? What do we do up here? You're looking at it, sunshine. Oh, wait, where are my manners? You want one? <laughs> Dude, I'm not telling you to do a keg stand or something. I'm fully aware that it's a Tuesday night. Or, well... A Wednesday morning, I guess. I just meant sipping while we chill up here. Like I've been doing. Well, I guess I've been doing slightly more than sipping these, but uh, why not get a little cross-faded on a weekday? We're young, dumb, and full of and potential. And before you ask, I'm all out. You snooze, you lose. We have only booze. You should try to relax if you plan to stay. That jittering leg of yours is really throwing the vibes off. Just lay down on the grass, dude. It's comfy. It's not like you need to be anywhere anytime soon, anyway. Nope, I am not getting back up for the rest of the night. You know, unless those drinks run through me faster than anticipated. <laughs> yes, this is really all I do out here. I sit, I imbibe, I exist. Eh, I don't think it's boring. It's nice. Peaceful. Do you really never take a moment for yourself like this? Don't you ever just turn everything off? Step outside and just be for a while? Wow, that, uh, <laughs> that sure was a lot of excuses where a simple no, would have sufficed. <laughs> Methinks the lady doth protest too much. You don't believe me? What do you mean? What is there to lie about? I just come up here and relax for a few hours until sunrise. Ugh, yes, three o'clock is the witching hour. So what? I'm goth, not a witch. <laughs> what? Did you think that I've been coming up here in the middle of the night to cast spells or something? Wait. You did. You did think that. <laughs> oh, wow. Seriously. I don't climb up here to hex all of the... Posers, or whatever. 
I just like to chill. What's wrong with that? Wait. You were hoping to cast some hexes of your own, weren't you? Maybe say a curse on the people and things that keep you awake at night. <sighs> Come here, sunshine. You're shivering. Well, I don't know why you came here either, but uh, you're here now, and that's what matters. It looks so different at night, doesn't it? The city, I mean. During the day, when you're up close, it's so big. So important. It's all around you. It's everything. But from up here, when everyone's asleep, it's just a light in the distance. Just a blip on the horizon. It's meaningless. Look, I can make it disappear entirely. All I have to do is cover. You came up here for reasons unknown, that, or you know why you came and you're lying. Which, hey, no judgment, that's part of the game. But either way, it's my job to suss out what's bothering you so much that you can't sleep. What made you willing to take me up on my offer for some late night company? I'm either helping you discover something about yourself, or I'm fumbling in the dark until I step on a truth landmine that you've left buried for me. I figured that pointing out the meaninglessness of modern life, ham-fisted though the metaphor might have been, might be a good first step. That's usually a good chunk of people's problems, is putting too much importance on made-up nonsense like jobs and social expectations and money. So, I repeat, just enjoy the aesthetics of death, and we embrace its inevitability. I think people tend to confuse acceptance with excitement, though. Like, to reuse the metaphor from before, I don't stop caring about the city just because I understand that it's nothing but a light on the horizon. It just means that I don't view it as some permanent, immutable thing. It's just the thing of the day, so to speak. Doesn't mean that I don't still have rent due on the first of the month. <sighs> what am I even saying? I'm sorry, you have no idea how much I uh, imbibed before you got here. <laughs> I am... <laughs> out there, on my woo-woo stuff. Okay, taking a step back from that. Hmm? What do you mean? You've never heard me talk like that before. I talk like that all the time whenever I get, you know. <laughs> it sounds too smart for me. What is that supposed to mean? Was I supposed to be your moronic sidekick? Hey, hey, don't be embarrassed. I'm just joking. No offense taken, I promise. <laughs> Look, maybe I only 
sound smart because it's late at night and our brains are wired to have big thoughts at this time if we're still awake to have them. Or maybe it sounds smart because it's more relevant to you at this moment than all of my usual rambling. Or maybe I'm just smarter than you give me credit for, sunshine. you think that I don't know what's going on in the world? Is it because I don't spend all of my time talking about it? Or is it because I... Uh, or is it because I'm not constantly upset by it? That's why you didn't think I was smart, isn't it? Because if I'm not a dumb guy, then I should be well informed. And if I'm well informed, then my back should be bent at a 90 degree angle from carrying the weight of the world around on my shoulders. Like yours is. Oh no no no, on the contrary. I care a lot about the world around me. Why do you think I come up here? It's a time and a place where I can be alone with myself, where where I can figure out my thoughts and peace. Bottling up my thoughts and feelings for all those years didn't actually make me feel better. It just gave me a heavy bottle to carry around, always on the verge of spilling or shattering. How full is your bottle, sunshine? I think that you assume that I am blissfully unaware of the world around me, because the only way that you can conceive of the horror of knowing is as some sort of unbearable weight, some misery to be worn as a badge of honor. I, no, I won't stop, because you and I were never taught how to process grief in a healthy way. You assume that I come up here to... Shh, no, shush. You assume that I come up here to cast hexes on the people and things that hurt me because you want to do that. Because the only things that you can imagine doing to escape your stress are magical, are fantastical, are fiction. You... Uh, I'm not done. You assumed that I hate people in a city in the world, because that's what goth is. But it isn't. I don't, and I never have. You do. No, I'm not finished yet. Because the worst part of all of this, the worst part of you projecting your feelings onto me, the worst part of you trying to justify your sleepless nights as some sort of intellectual cross to bear, the worst part of you channeling all of these traits into the imaginary me that you've created in your head, the worst part of all of it is that you did it while simultaneously refusing to acknowledge that you've had a crush on me since high school. Weren't expecting that twist, were you? <laughs> yes, you have. You don't perform the kinds of mental gymnastics that you have to explain why someone would be the way I am unless you really need to justify liking them. I'm goth. Oh, never mind that you don't even know what goth means. It must mean that I hate the same things that stress you out, only, you know, more scary. Oh, I come out here in the middle of the night instead of sitting awake in bed worrying about everything. Oh, I must be casting spells on people because I'm such a silly goth. I don't constantly bemoan the state of the world. Oh, it must be because I'm too stupid to know what's going on. That, or I'm willfully ignorant, but you can't even bring yourself to think that of me, so stupid it is. If I were anyone else, anyone, someone who so clearly clashed with how you view yourself, would you really try this 
so hard to make excuses for me. <laughs> what? No, I don't hate you. Why on earth would I hate someone who tries so hard to fit me into their life? I mean, you invented an entire version of me in your head just because you didn't want to think poorly of me. <laughs> that is impressive. So, uh, you sure you don't want that drink? Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, you're not crazy. No more crazy than anyone else is. I've known how you felt about me for a long time, but, uh, I didn't want the version of me in your head to be the one to ask about it. I felt like you needed to understand who I really am first. <laughs> it's okay if you don't really understand how I am the way that I am. It took a lot of time for me to understand it, too. I mean, why do you think I started coming out here at night after all? I reached a breaking point, and I needed to clear my head. Coming out here, alone, far away from people, and in the stillness of the night, I can relax. I don't have to distract myself from the world around me, because the world around me is all that there is. Just the world, me. Whatever consumables I brought to enjoy the duration. <laughs> I'm... I'm my own little ship up here, adrift in a sea of stars. I don't mind having company, though, of course. <laughs> You're not too negative, dork. Imagine telling that to a goth guy. And even if you were, what better place to work on yourself than out here, away from the people and away from the city? Nothing but the cool night air and the grass on your back. Nothing but the glow of the stars above and the light of the city in the distance. That's and panic about every awful thing that happens to anyone on Earth until you can't even function anymore. Home is, is where history ended, where nothing ever happens, where you're scared and you're stressed and you're angry and you're sad because what else are you supposed to be after all when you live after the end of history but history refuses to end? When we have to make history on our own, knowing that we could never make it the way we'd like. When all of the dreams of our parents and grandparents have become the nightmares from which we can't wake up. But life doesn't have to be a nightmare. Not here. Here, your thoughts don't have to run wild. Here, you can focus on yourself for just a little while. You can make yourself something else. Something peaceful, something new, but still something recognizably you. You can sit. You can breathe. You can watch the stars twinkle in the night sky. You can relax, knowing that you'll never have to worry about the sun not rising. It always does in the end. <laughs> oh, I am, I am absolutely just 
absolutely gone right now. <laughs> I don't even know half of what I just said, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Look, do you want to come lay in the grass with me at 3 a.m. and not have to worry about anything until the sun comes up or not? Like, you know, once every week or so. We can do it on weekends, if that works better for your schedule. And before you ask, yes, I am absolutely asking you out on a recurring date. And you don't have to say yes or no right now, just think about it. And, uh, maybe think about this, too. Just uh, don't think about anything else, of course. I'm glad that you came out tonight, sunshine. <laughs> Why do I call you that? <laughs> I've called you that for years, and you've never bothered to ask. you sunshine because I feel warm and happy when you're around because I always look forward to seeing you again and because I know that you'll always show up eventually Whisper here. Thanks for listening. If you made it to the end of the audio, be sure to leave a comment that contains the black heart emoji. If you'd like to see what happens next in their little early morning cuddle session, be sure to check us out at patreon.com slash whisper audio for early access and exclusive discord and exclusive content that you won't find anywhere else. Special thanks, as always, to my whisper whispers to your patrons. Castiel, Cat, Dominic, Starlight, and Ivena. Enjoy your night, and get some good sleep.